doesn't say no F words. You just said one. You mean fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no fun? Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Back on YouTube. Man. Holy shit. <laughs> back in our studio. Yeah. Jeffrey, Kayla, and Sean here. Yes. Happy to be back. Pumped. Excited to be back. We survived. Survived Vegas. In case you were worried, we took a week hiatus, <laughs> but we yeah. uh, we made it. Yeah, I got a bit of the traveler's flu. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, upper decking and back door in for a full yeah. day. Sean hit me up. He's like, is anyone else feeling like shit? Yes. <laughs> I felt yes. god awful. Ask Jeff Thursday. I think I slept all day. Thursday was a good rest day. Yeah. I, I went and did some shit, got some grocery shopping done. But yeah, Friday, I went to, I woke up and I was like, oh, don't like that feeling. Let's go uh, take care of this. And yeah, it was turn the fuck. At least you waited until we got back. Yeah. Salute to you, sir. It, yeah. I almost died. Don't get me wrong. I almost died on Fremont. <laughs> oh, Fremont. Sean almost blacked out. I had to <sighs> take him for a walk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's uh, start with day one. What was day one? Day one is when we landed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So. <laughs> Where were we? Uh-huh. <laughs> so we get to Vegas. We check in, get our rooms. And I'm on an instant mission to find cannabis. Any kind of cannabis to get into my face because I just <laughs> flew five hours on a plane. and It, it, it wasn't that long. That flight was rough. It was like the flight four there. hours. We it had, wasn't, uh, I really didn't think it was that bad. You had nice. You were in the window. Wind. It was and, a nose wind. Yeah, so it took a little bit longer than it was supposed to. It wasn't that bad of a flight. No, the flight it was wasn't fun. bad. I just watched. I, I just I was in Vegas. You did giggle. No, you giggled out you, loud. Yeah, there was a couple. <laughs> Everybody of, heard you giggle. <laughs> there was a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do you want over. me to do? It was. <sighs> I was watching stand up comedy. Dude, hey, I had the best people to sit next to. We all sat next to each other on the flight there. It was perfect. Sn- sharing snacks, having yep. a good time. Get to uh, Vegas, get to the, dude, the, the Uber. Packing those Ubers full of luggage and fat Wisconsin folk was, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> was a time. I just love the Uber driver's face. Like he saw all of our luggage and looked at us and we're like, don't worry. Yeah. We've got this. Yeah. I'm going to fit. I'm in the front of this guy's Denali with my bag like this, with my fucking backpack up on my shoulders, just like, all right. We fit. It was fine. Well, yeah, I was in a different car from you guys. Oh, you were. Yeah. I was going to say, we. Well, even it didn't fit in the back, but like, whatever. The luggage can just, one of the bags can go on some of us. Yeah. Right. That's what we did. Like, we were in that minivan and we just stuck it like in the aisle. Yeah. Then it was fucking crazy getting on there because it just you came failed to a the f bomb. You you failed it. You failed. Oh, that's right. We can't yeah. say the f bomb. It's too late. It's already done. I see. I'm not all about that life. Yeah, <laughs> you're I not going to control what I say. This is how I talk. Uh, if you're uh, watching and drinking, salute, salute to you. Welcome back to us. I feel really bad because my big head and my big bun are just blocking the den. Jeff's beautiful airbrush work on the wall behind us. All right, so back to Vegas. <laughs> we get there. We get to the El Cortez Casino, which is older than, I think that was built two days after Jesus' birthday. <laughs> but it wasn't bad. Like, the rooms were nice. The rooms were, it, the rooms were great, besides the one elevator just not working for a full day. Yeah. That was a little rough. Or half but, of every day. But yeah. to be fair, to be fair. To be fair, First off, you had your normal Vegas like people that were there. Plus, you had four hundred people from Wisconsin oh, there yeah. at the El Cortez for yeah. one thing. Shout out so, Wisconsin! Tavern shout League. out Tavern League. I'll drink to that. I'm drinking water. To, I'm <laughs> drinking water to the Tavern League. No, you crap your cup <laughs> with the Miller Light in it. So yeah, How you had, dare you? You had four hundred people there for the Wisconsin Tavern League in that one. Hotel, casino. like I love your reach around. You like that move? <laughs> Instead of under? <laughs> I didn't want to hit a wire. That's why I did that. <laughs> anyway, 
four hundred Wisconsinites into a casino that you uh, that you could still smoke in. <laughs> oh yeah, that was bad. That, I, th- that oh. threw me off. A hundred percent. So you said you can't smoke in bars anymore. You can't yeah. do this. Can't do yeah. that. So when we got there, and I think Nick was the first one who lit up and was just smoking at the bar, and I was like, "Oh fuck, this That's is right. You can do that here. This is America. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is, a, is a, this is straight this up America. This is the land of the free. This is freedom at its best. I feel like the first day wasn't bad, like with people smoking in the casino. It no. was like the last night, and then that final day, since we had such a long day before we got on the flight. That's when like everybody smoking inside hit me. And I was yeah. like, oh, this is awful. Oh. Honestly, I haven't I haven't had a cigarette in four years. If we would have went to that Denny's there was I a cigarette. I, a cigarette. <laughs> I feel like if I could smoke in a Denny's, it would have broke me. Yeah. I think so. I would have had a fucking cigarette and a ham and cheese omelet. <laughs> oh man. But so I, thank God we didn't go in there. My, my like I said, our my rule kind of was we're not going to Denny's. If there's other breakfast spots to go to. Yep. Other what? Breakfast. Breakfast. Is breakfast? Breakfast. Is breakfast spots. Breakfast. Okay. Break the fast. Break the fast. <laughs> All right. So we get our we get our rooms, we get our bags up, we get different clothes on from the traveling or no, we just changed shoes or something. I forgot yep. what we Nope, did. I was in the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah I was just pants. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> I was sweatpants on the strip. Yep. 100% down Fremont. Sweatpants on Fremont. Yes, Gray you sweatpants. Gray sweatpants on Fremont. <laughs> yes, you were. No, I, I put pay, I pay, think I put a pair of jeans on because I don't like walking with a wallet in my sweatpants because I would think they're going to fall out. The wallet's going to fall out. So I need jeans. <laughs> Your balls. Yes, that fall. too. He was worried about those. So They're I got cool. bamboozled on Fremont and bought a fucking Delta 9 pen, and that sucked. That was some... <laughs> Well, what is in there? I don't understand. Because it's, we it's, walked into that place and there's crystallized nuggets. It's all CBD. So that's all the males. That's all hemp. So it's, it's basically, that's... So you're getting your CBD. That's the Wizard of Oz in there. Yes. And then the real shit's in the, in behind the, the curtain. Yes. <laughs> but, okay. But so me and another guest went on an adventure to find a real dispensary. Found one. Got... Incredibly high, found these guys and started drinking on Fremont. Ooh, that first night. We drank. That was a lot of fun. It was. First night was the good. The first time. night was good. And I think the first night kind of ruined it for the rest of the nights. The first night was really well. I, I mean, don't don't give me I'm talking about just Fremont, not the uh, Yeah. He's talk he's talking about picking up straight. We'll get uh we'll yeah. get to that. <laughs> We're talking about first night. Fremont, it was great. The uh last time I was there. Um, they didn't have the LED, which is that was show, awesome. which fucking was... wild. Whew. Seeing that in person was, you know, you see it in dope. pictures, but once you see it, because it goes for blocks. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Also, you don't realize how much you're actually walking. We've... That's all it was. Yeah, it, dude, it was just so much. I couldn't even get drunk because <laughs> I just was walking and oh. drinking. Yeah, I don't know. I I did a lot of walking and then I got drunk. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I succeeded. Yes. Yes. Cheers to you. Yes, you did. I'm a lady. Then, uh, for, so we all have a good night. Get some pizza, out of the pizza, and head back to the room and get ready for the the fun. Shout out to Evil Pie. I think I ate there every day. <laughs> oh no, for sure. Yeah. I think we did get pizza there every day. So Whether good. I was drunk at two a.m. or it was completely sober. Breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> it was so good. Evil Pie was really good. So, second day, I'm like, all right, I know where we could go to eat bre- a good breakfast because it's going to be a long day. Hash House at Go-Go. Oh. Best chicken and waffles fucking ever. So good. I cannot that say. That chicken was fucking top-notch chicken. I wish I, wish I wasn't, like, um, I wish I wasn't doing this diet. Like, I broke it, obviously, yeah. for the trip. Yeah. But it was just, I hadn't eaten that much food or that type of food in so long that like I couldn't even eat as much as I wanted to eat. So it was so good. And I wanted to eat more, but like my body was like, you can't do Just it. So You're you full. Said, well, not so, eating carbs. I was like, oh. <laughs> so Jeff, Kayla, and the other couple we were with all, well. Well, because when they came, I, I saw the I saw the plate of yeah. the, uh, what did we get? The chicken and waffles. And I was like, there's no fucking way I could finish that. Yeah. I would love to, but there's no way. Yeah. So yeah, we. 
Well, and then I saw the chicken fried steak, and I was like, yes. But then I also wanted the mac and cheese, mac so cheese. then I we all came to... We had a thruple. Yeah. It was a so thruple. So you guys had the mac and cheese, the country fried steak, the mm-hmm. chicken and waffles, and wasn't there one more thing? Uh, no. Nope, that was it. Uh, Bloody Marys? Yeah, and we did we get had, Bloody Marys. We had the good Bloody Marys. And then, yeah, I ate all that chicken and waffles. I have never, <laughs> yes, you did. You did. I have never been more full in my the life. The plate that I looked at and said, "There's not a chance in hell I'm going to share this with two other people." I Sean ate that ate whole it. motherfucker. <laughs> it was a but lot. I, that's the only thing I ate all fucking well, that's, day. Well, and that's the thing, right? Like I thought, like this trip, I was like, "God, gonna like eat I'm going to so eat much. so much food. I'm, uh, it's going to be so bad." And like we, we ate, ate pizza maybe we and, ate in the morning and then pizza, yeah, pizza. And I feel like we had a good brunch, right? Breakfast, yeah. lunch. Well, the type. first okay, but the first day we got there, we didn't eat shit. Off the plane. Off no. the plane. No. Off no. the plane. And no, then we, we didn't. ate the evil pie. Right, but that's what I mean. Which was at like twelve thirty, like midnight. Yeah, yeah. I was back in the room by because like I was hammered by Airtime, the time, which is yeah. Two, two hours I was time. hammered by the time we were eating that. Because that's when I wanted to go back to the hotel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was... But we hadn't eaten anything since, yeah. be- like, before we left to go to Vegas. Yeah, we got... No, you guys... No, you didn't get that pizza at the... No, we didn't get the pizza. What did we get? I think we just got... I got... <gasps> the shitty O'Hare chicken nuggets. Yes. Oh. <laughs> God damn yeah. it. Worst start... Dude. For food. This big. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, they said chicken tenders. I was like, okay. Got, what what, what did I say? A three, three piece. I said three because normally chicken tenders are like, Yeah, decent right? size. So I was like, I'm going to get three. That's enough. I don't need to overload. I get them and they're like this big. They're like little popcorn chicken. Oh, I was Kayla got this. I'm going to tell you these three chicken tenders <laughs> about the size of a pinky. <laughs> it was so. Kay- that's Kayla what I got, ate before I got to Vegas. Kayla got the Snuggle Fritz. For sure, at the that was the, what was left in the bag, and they're like, "Oh, there's three things of chicken in here." Kinda. Yeah, <laughs> screw the tenders. Three is three. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you would, I just had two, a Chicago style hot dog because you can't fuck up a hot dog. I feel like you could, but it's still, they fucked it up chicken good. strips. They did fuck up chicken yeah, strips. How right? do you yeah. fuck those up? Well, I'm, you overcook them, yeah. undercook them. That's fine, but how do you undersize them? I'm almost a, <laughs> I'm almost a hundred percent sure the fry cook. Was baked out of his fucking. I would have taken gourd. three nuggets over what you got. Yeah, there right. Was, it was like three pieces of popcorn chicken. Is it really wasn't what it came even down to. A strip. No, it came. It's like popcorn chicken. Is what it honestly was right. like the size you cannot of. Cannot quantify that as a strip. Mm-mm. So that's what I ate before we went to Vegas. That and is got nuggets, and some fries. Sir. Yes. And the fries. And shitty fries. Shitty fries. So <laughs> we hop in the Ubers and head down to. The actual strip, not Fremont Street. Day two. Day two. two. After breakfast. So confused. We keep going backwards. Because Vegas was. It was Jeff's birthday. And the first thing we had to do was something that we didn't have to, but the first thing that we wanted to do was something for Jeff. And Kayla, I told Jeff about the Jabberwockies being there, and Kayla found found the show, found the tickets, got tickets quickly. That's a bucket list item for me. Yeah, Jeff. Okay, but, big fan Jabberwockies. But before that, before that, no, the other bucket list. We went to Taco Bell. Oh, we're not there yet. We're still at the beginning of us getting to the strip. Okay. I was like, we're going straight to mm. Jabberwockies. No, we went to Taco Bell. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just the reason oh, why no, we no, went no, down no. to the strip. Oh, no, no, no. We got dropped off at the Mandalay Bay and started walking. And we lost Dad. We lost Dad at Mandalay Bay. Yeah, right at the beginning, which was very weird. <laughs> Our buddy that came with us was dressed like a Midwestern dad. He had a pair of... <laughs> he was dressed like a Corvette owner. <laughs> yes, he had the fucking Air Monarchs on. He, you know, he was... Oh, uh, I, I wish he had him. jean shorts on. He needed <laughs> jean shorts. Unfortunately, he'll be one of the guys that will never come on the show because he's scared. No, I think we could get him on here. He'll be on. We can get him on here. We might. I'm calling him out because he's one of our listeners. He does so listen. I'm gonna call him out. It's hard Dad. because, like, it's hard because, like, other podcasts, these guys are like professional comedians, and yeah. like, they don't 
they don't care. But yeah. like our friends, they're fucking hilarious. I love them and I want to have them on, but then they have normal jobs that they have to worry about. Yes. We all well, well I have a normal job, so yeah. is Kayla, but I mean, I have a normal job that I really need to worry about, but Jeff's hey, by the way, Jeff's gonna start an Etsy. He's gonna spray paint some shoes. I'm uh, in between careers. If you could please support him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Mama, fucking yeah. den I created. Mama yeah. can't do this by herself. God damn it. So we're walking forever. We started going through the casinos and like the Bellagio was fucking dope. Like we walk when you walk in and the glass flowers all through the ceiling and it smelled oh, yeah. so good in there. I'm not a big flower guy, but you know, when you're all you s- fresh. But when all you smell is stale cigarette smoke and like spilled drinks right when you stepped into the bellagio it was just oh, like freshness it was, flowers just hit you in the uh, face. Was... you you felt like your wallet got lighter when you walked in there you're like fuck <laughs> this is expensive okay but it was just beautiful take it. just yeah. take oh, it gorgeous. it was beautiful like I, even if you lost money there you felt like you were donating to the flowers yeah. right you're like it was worth it, it oh, take my it. money the architecture <laughs> just it was beautiful well plus we i feel like this was like a good year to go. Cause what is it? The year of the dragon for like Chinese New Year. Yeah. Like it was the year of the dragon. So they have it all like. Which that's was. What, that was all for. That was the theme. Yes. Okay. I, was that I didn't know you, that. You, oh, you just thought they always have dragons. <laughs> I'm like, I'm beautiful Yeah, Vegas dragons. is just. Yep. They're all about and dragons. <laughs> we, we actually did a little bit of a half bucket list item for Kayla too. We went to the Caesars and went through the. Where it looks like you're walking through. Well. The, yeah, so I had never been to Vegas, and everybody that has been is like, you got to go to Caesar's Palace, you got to go to the mall. Yeah, I don't the like the forum. It is. I don't dope. like to shop. It is awesome. Yeah, so it, I was it's like, the mall. Shopping. I don't want to go, and they're like, no, 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 you got to go. It's not for shopping for us. Well, I could have probably afforded something in two of those stores. Yeah, but like, I don't even want to shop. I go to Gurney, and I don't want to shop. But it is. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. Ugh. It's, it's it's like like walking through Italy. And yes. This how the ceiling's painted and just yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. The ceiling is painted like the sky. Mm-hmm. Like I showed a picture to someone and I was like, "This is inside, this inside." And they're like, "What?" Yeah. yeah. It's like, yes, this is inside. You really got to look hard to find a, a seam. Yeah. Yeah. So I took a picture and then I did the video where I kind of panned and mm-hmm. you can just, just to capture like the yeah. seams. So I can be like, yeah, this is inside. This is, this is the inside. Real sky. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> it was awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was wearing the a brand new pair of shoes, and my feet were screaming. And then it got better. It did get better. And we went to the other one that had the Ooh, Italian, the Venetian. Uh, yes, the Venetian. The gondolas. Yes. Ooh. That one girl's voice was fucking oh, beautiful. And because it's inside, it just like Echoed. projected. I know. Was... I was like, where's it coming from? And then I found her and I was like, oh, and I it, want her to sing to me. And you wouldn't have thought that voice was coming out of that girl. <laughs> no, but it was beautiful. It just. Uh, but, I wish I could have told her, but I feel like I would have interrupted the intimacy the, of the, the, the gondola of the, ride for the couple yeah, yeah it was <laughs> that was one of those ones where you're on fremont street one night and then you're on the strip the other night and just the different the, mm-hmm. the dichotomy different dichotomy of people yes holy shit it goes from like bullet wounds and stretch marks to fucking <laughs> brazilian butt lifts and fake tits yeah yeah real quick <laughs> well and so like that day i was like Nope. Like, so we had a great time on Fremont Street the first night. Then we went to the strip. And, like, the strip was cool. It, it was, was beautiful. But I was like, we come back to Vegas. We're going to Fremont Street. You were, the strip you were, is not like a, for me. The, the strip, it was cool. Like right. I said, but was, I was like, the strip, that's too classy. That's not for us. It felt like Disney. It felt yeah. like walking through Disney World. Never been, but... It With felt the like New York, work. New York, and yeah. the Paris and the Bellagio. It's it it is a spectacle down yeah, there. Yeah, it's sure. it's yeah. Cool people watching. It's that's a good time. Shout out to the ABC store because that's where I spent most of my money. Um, Twenty four ounce Happy Dad yes. fruit punches. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't drink beer there. Like I had one beer there, and it just did not. I had a couple of Coors Lights. I was very happy that they had. Big ass high noons. Cause I was yeah, like, what am I gonna drink? Cause I can walk the strip. I can like walk and drink, which is awesome. But what mm-hmm. am I gonna drink? 
you don't want something heavy. You don't want, you know, you don't want right. to, and then you don't want something but that's going to be pissed off. Giant ass high noons. And I was like, these are my people. And those things were going down like, <laughs> because of the, you don't realize how dry it is, too. Yeah. It was, it's dry as, you're always thirsty. So, <laughs> well, good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we're, we're getting pretty tuned up before the Jabberwocky show. <laughs> yeah. Because our chicken and waffles and everything else is wearing off. It was a long yeah. walk. Uh, over 30,000 steps that day. Yeah. Yep. But then we went, can I, now we went to Taco Bell. Yes, now we go to Taco Bell. <laughs> yes, we did go to Taco Bell. We did eat. Which was like huge because everybody that knows us, like they thought, like they're like, that's where you're going to have your wedding is Taco Bell. <laughs> you need to have hey, Taco Bell catered in for your wedding. And we if, didn't do either one of those things. If you never had a vodka filled frozen Baja oh blast, my God. you have never lived, baby. Yeah, so we, what was the Taco Bell Cantina? Taco Bell Cantina. Yep. They're all over the place, but Vegas was the first. Yeah. No, like obviously we go to Taco Bell all the time, but like Vegas, like that's, you can get married at that. Taco Bell. You can get married at a Taco Bell. And well, you can get married at any Taco Bell, right? But like, that's the one like you see videos and like, yeah, which awesome. Which shout out to the people that get married at Taco Bell, but yo, know, you're getting married at a fucking Taco Bell. I don't know. I would do it. Those are the ones that last. I would do it. You don't think renewing your vows at a Taco Bell in ten years? I, I I'm in. We gotta do it. We have to. It's on the it's on the podcast. Gotta do it. Vegas in 10 years for your guys' Hang on, but we can't renew our vows because I've heard that that's like a... That means it's you guys have fucked, on, have fucked yeah. off. Yeah. We we'll, can't do that, but we'll in, do 10 a ten, year, a ten in 10 years... We'll do a 10-year re-wedding. Yes. There we go. We're not going to renew any Why vows. Why can't we just have a party? Fuck it, yeah. Let's have a party at Taco Bell in Vegas. All right. All right. 10 years from now. But you have to wear a wedding dress and we got to wear tuxes. Okay. Because people will buy us free drinks then. Sounds good. Yeah. Hashtag. No. Hashtag, uh, ha- just pound sign Taco Bell. Pound, pound sign. Pound sign Taco, Taco Bell Bells. wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so we get to. There's actually, I'm going to. Go ahead. I'm going to cut you off. There's a side hustle where people will put that on their vehicle and just drive around. Yeah. That says for their wedding, donate money, buy us a shot, this and that. That right? is brilliant. Those yeah. little scammers. Or, or birthdays or bachelorette parties. Yeah. Or... Little scammers. But it's not. They're brilliant. They just drive around. No, they just drive around with that shit on their car. Because when we before we went there at our hotel, when we walked back to first night. Oh, yeah, that little shitty Civic. Yeah, there was a shitty Civic in the parking lot that said Taco Bell wedding, buy us a shot, and it had like their GoFundMe slash Although website. I will say the girls that do that for my bachelorette party. Not that we got married at Taco Bell, but they put it all over one car, like, Kayla's bachelorette party, send us money. And I was like, but that's not to my account, so. Yeah, so whatever money got made <laughs> that day, us? whatever money got made that day, Kayla didn't see well, none of it. Well, I hope you didn't pay for a drink. Well, I didn't, I didn't. So we get to the MGM, and we're there a little bit early. So we kind of get another another cocktail, or finish our cocktails. and I still had my Taco Bell. Yeah. Uh, bong or whatever the fuck yeah. it's called. And then uh, broke out the chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little bit of... Little we got bit spiritual of, at the little, Jabberwockies. A little bit of psilocybin <laughs> at the Jabberwockies. And then uh, what a fucking show. I it mean, was I, so good. I, highlight of the show for me. <laughs> show goes silent, lights go down at one point, and the screen pops up, and Kayla just goes... Oh fuck! Well, because it wasn't like it wasn't just the screen. Super it was like, loud, not like, just oh, oh fuck to us. It was like everybody, everybody in la- there started laughing heard. around us. It was well because it was like the screen top-notch. and the lasers. Like it all just hit, and I was yeah. like, oh fuck! Oh, it was. It's like the mushrooms kicked in right here, and that hit right here, and it just bam, and Kayla's <laughs> mind exploded, and Kayla and I legitimately giggled for about. Five to ten minutes after that. <laughs> yeah. You made it, babe. That was that I was did. a highlight for me of the trip was the oh fuck in the middle of it with the little girl right in front of you. Oh, that, she, was, that little girl was living her best life. She was so pumped. And I just wish they would have like and I understand why they couldn't like pull yeah. her up because like the things that they needed people for it wasn't child yeah. appropriate. But like still I feel like they paid absolutely no attention to her and that little girl like 
She just was in love. Like she just was she got, so they, happy to she be got there. She got a lot of waves though from the guys as they were walking past and points and stuff like I that. Don't, I don't they feel like that was at her. I felt like that was at the people right in front of her. Well, but I don't know. Whatever. I'm sorry you feel that way. The, the as long as she was happy, you know what? She seemed happy. The only thing I can say is I think the Jabberwocky karaoke went on just a little bit too long. Yes. Yeah. For sure. It was like one song too long. Too long. Like I, I, it felt like a time filler. Yes, well, like like, at, like they were like they were really gassed and they needed a break. Well, and like at first, which rightfully so, man. Yeah. I mean, listen, us ladies were talking about when we were getting ready that morning. We were gassed <laughs> getting dressed. Okay, <laughs> so rightfully so, they needed a break. Uh, but I was just kind of like that was. I think that was the only thing I was disappointed with in the entire show. Is they were pulling people, and I was so excited. I was like, it's gonna be like real life karaoke, right? Yeah, they're pulling people. Yeah. But some of those people, I was like, they were too quick to get up and be accepting of it. That, and I didn't really, it was very rare that you actually heard, like, those people. Like, you didn't really hear them. It wasn't really them, t- like, singing. Except for that dude that was behind us. Oh, yeah, no. Homeboy was having the oh, yeah. time of his life. That dude life. was living life that night. He was loud the whole show. I he think was I was laughing the entire time because of him. Oh, he was. Like, <laughs> there were some so zingers funny. coming out of oh, him yeah. that were. And then uh, the lasers, where he's fucking doing the boxes, and that was intense. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, just threads on YouTube. Yeah, timeless by the Jabberwockies. Yeah, it it's was, uh, phenomenal show. Top notch. Well, like I showed it to Bella. Bucket list for for me. Well, like I showed it to Bella. The lasers. She's like, "Whoa, <laughs> how'd they do that?" <laughs> it was it was really cool. Like I was I was pumped to see it, but I was. Even more pumped after. Yeah, like I was excited because like the Jabberwockies, they were awesome, right? Like, yeah. But to be there and like see, like it was just a really good show. It was just like a fun ride. Yeah, kind of took you on like a yeah, ride. yeah. It was good. That's then good time. we get out of there after the show, and we walk over to the Cosmopolitan. The, no, that well, was on the we way. We went though. to the Cosmo before. Was it before or was it after? I couldn't remember. We went to the Cosmo before. The only thing I think we did after was that. No, we did Netflix before we went there too, didn't we? No, that was after. Oh, okay. Because we had to walk back to the yeah, garage, you know. everything's yeah. mixing together. Well, yeah, I mean, but at the holy fuck, I have never been in a louder room in my life than I. Yeah, the Cosmopolitan was having a uh, every, bankers convention. Every yeah. douche and suit convention ever. Every dude had the same haircut, the same suit, and same it was just shoes. So Fucking loud. It was white noise. But well, if you listened very closely, you just kept hearing Coke, Coke, <laughs> Coke, Coke, <laughs> Coke. Well, Coke. no, so like the Cosmopolitan, it's got what? That's two? It looks that's like a two sh- floors of chandelier? A th- two or three two or three chandelier yes, bar. Yes. bar. Yes. So that drops wild. right down the middle. And it's just slammed. It's a silo of sound. Well, and yeah, and it was slammed with these bankers. Oh, and there are some guys oh. having rough. There are some guys having. Vegas was getting them. Vegas, yeah. Vegas was getting them. That one dude. There's one dude just. The one dude was leaning against the wall, waiting for his buddy to get done. Yes. Pissing, and he yeah. was battling demons so he for fucking sure was. He was doing the caveman walk after they left. It was yeah, it was all bad. shouldered up. Salute to you, sir. Yeah. If you're listening. So we get our Uber. <laughs> if anyone's at the uh, Cosmopolitan during the. U.S. Bank Convention. That wasn't. It wasn't a U.S. I Bank Convention. Well, there was there was a realtor convention there too because there was a bunch of people wearing the uh, Keller Williams, Keller yes. Williams badges. Oh, and then we had to ride home on the plane with two of them. Oh, that didn't shut the. Fuck up. We oh, we'll get to that. But we get so we get back to the hotel. We uh, drop off whatever shit we needed to, and we're like, "Fuck it, it's still somewhat early. Let's go back out to the street." Eat a couple more pieces of chocolate. Fremont. Yeah, Back I just wanted to, just to go. Get the some weather was bars and check the out the fucking was uh, awesome. Oh, the we- yeah, the weather lights. was beautiful. It, it wasn't hot. It wasn't cold. It was just room. T- it was perfect. It was sixty-eight degrees at most. I feel like they should write a book about that. Just like encumbrant, like three bears. 
Like where it's like not too hot, but, but not too cold. <laughs> right, it's like, just, just right. right, just right. Yeah, yeah. I think Vegas. we're on to something. Yeah. You got time what to start you, writing. What did we even do the second night? Uh, I almost died. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. That's the night that she lost her phone. And okay, yep. Uh huh. I know where so, I am now. Everything's going fine. We're on Fremont. We we've walked up and down it. We're we're actually like in the middle where this horrible band was playing. Like the band was good, but the lead singer was rough. like a fat Adam Levine. Yeah, like but not even close to talent wise. If a fat Adam Levine existed, if w- that makes sense. Yeah, it was. It was. It was a <laughs> shitty karaoke knockoff. <laughs> yes, but the two guitar, the guitar player and the bass player ripped, which I looked like remember. which looked like a mother daughter duo because the bass player looked pretty old. And the guitar player looked very young, but that also could be by comparison. So anyway, I'm standing there and I start getting all tingly and the lights start to dim. And I look at Jeff and I just go, I'm in a bad way, boss. I'm going to go down if I don't start moving. (laughs) And I'm walking and I know I'm walking fucked up because I could feel my, I'm trying to center myself and I could feel myself kind of fucking lumbering and stumbling. And I'm like, what's going on? He's like, I just got tingly and the darkness started to close in on me. I said, Oh no. The the Let's lights walk. started going off. So there's a Walgreens on the one corner. I'm like, dude, if I can make it to that Walgreens, I'll be fine. Get inside the Walgreens. Those lights hit me and I fucking came back to life. Fucking fine. I was like, Whoa, got a water, got a Pedialyte. Walk out. Jeff's like, you good? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm going back to the hotel. I'm done, obviously. I can't drink anymore. I almost just passed the fuck out. Night over. Night over for me. Not for us. I go back. <laughs> I go back and I get a text message of evil pie night two. <laughs> yeah, but that was at like, so our second night is when I was up until what, 4.30 mm-hmm. in the morning? Yeah, you guys were getting breakfast. At the casino. No, I got real chicken strips at the casino at yeah, 4.30 what, in yeah, the morning. That's what it was. Well, after that, Sean left. We stayed down there. That's when Kayla picked up a few strays. Oh, you stop it. No, what happened was. What had happened was. What had happened was, me and the girls were dancing to the shitty band. Having a good old time. Shitty band stopped. Said people that were all dancing stuck around. Now, shitty rappers come in. Oh, I miss shitty rappers. Oh yeah, you miss shitty rappers. With what, did they even have a bicycle or was it a scooter? It was a scooter with a boombox. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. And so they're out there, and pretty much this one guy's rap. Correct me if I'm wrong. Went like this: "Bitch, I'm the shit. Bitch, I'm the shit." And like he just repeated himself five hundred times. And people were feeling it, except for us. So then we begged him to play Eminem. And these ladies were like the moth to the flame. No, we begged him to play like, Eminem. Oh my god, he is the chef. No, <laughs> that's not at all how that went. Huh? That's not at all how that went. You literally looked back at me and said, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh, my God. How did I forget? And I was like, that? you know what? I'm going to fuck him, too. <laughs> God. You're an idiot. <laughs> Anyways, so we were all up there and we're like, will you please play some Eminem? So then you have three white girls from Wisconsin rapping the shit out of Eminem. Oh. That gets done, and then they started playing like other music and rapping like other shit. I don't know, but they were playing actual music. I forgot we were dancing. I forgot on the way back from Hash House of Go Go, Jeff got pulled into a dance circle where, where dudes were trying to. Yes, and we got hustled out of forty. We got hustled out of forty bucks because mm. we thought they were going to do cool tricks over. Jeff. I thought they were going to jump over Jeff and possibly teabag him, and I was like, "No, we were, all they did take was, my forty dollars." All they did please. was talk about how awesome this finale was going to be, if and then they were done. And then they, yeah, they and, hustled uh, us. Good for them. You know what? It was, it was a good hustle. And I, then I heard them hustle other people the next day. Yeah. So good for them. They keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy, the one boy, old flippy boy, looked like he was in a he was in a bad way. He looked like he was uh, coming down off a five day meth bender, <laughs> but he could flip like a motherfucker. Oh yeah, yeah. old flippy. God. So I don't know what happened. I got back okay. to the casino and so that was it for me. We're all out there dancing. We get done rapping, <laughs> our fucking Eminem, <laughs> and they start playing other music. We're all out there dancing. The strays Jeff are talking about are still around, out there dancing. 
Jeff and everybody else is off to the side watching us instead of partying with us. Mm -hmm. Um, then, uh, Nick ends up getting yelled at by the police because he sat down for all of two seconds. He sat down and took his shoes off because his feet were killing him. The, the monarchs police, were too much. Yeah. And the police and within were not two seconds happy. of sitting down, the police are like, "Stand up! You got to stand up!" And he's like, "So then, I'm not drunk. I can't feel they, my legs." They, honestly, they thought he was hammered. Yeah. And he's like, "No, I'm from Wisconsin. We're professionals. <laughs> I just need a time out. I got <laughs> my feet are killing me. I can't stand oh. anymore. I can drink another five hours. I just cannot stand or walk." It's physically impossible. Right. So right before that, when we were all out, like... We met some strays from... Uh, uh, not Washington. Oregon. 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 Yes. Some but, carpenters. But right before that is Strong when we hands. were out there dancing and there was like this group of people. I don't know where they were from. Um, I'm not going to get race put into this. There was a group of people. And then there was this other individual that was there, and he was a good time, and he was hanging out with us. And then this, these group, one of the men came over and said, watch your purses. And we're like, what? Like, I mean, I'm not an idiot. Everything's zipped up, and I don't feel threatened by this guy. But okay, whatever. So the officers, they go over, they, they yell at Nick about sitting on the floor, because you can't do that on Fremont, apparently. Unless you're, Unless in, a you're in a circle, circle. Um, and they then, have circles, by the way. And next thing I know, the for, performers, for performers have to be. Well, so next thing I know, they come up like five of them, and they rip this gentleman up underneath his arms and swish him off, like. And we're just like, "What the fuck just happened?" Because he's probably there every. That's fine. He seemed like a nice individual, and he's probably got sixteen different wallets in his that's fucking fine. pockets. He did not have my wallet or any of my money, so that's fine. Yeah, none of us got pickpocketed. That we didn't. We didn't. So this all ends. Uh, the strays from Oregon, as Jeff would call them, come over by us. We're all hanging out. This well-dressed, delicious-smelling man walks up to our group. May or may not have been of uh, the flag folks. Yes, definitely. But very nice, very well-dressed, and smelled wonderful. And he's talking to us about going to the strip club. And of course, us ladies were like, yes. Uh, it's free. He's like, ladies, get him free. Oh, mama. Studio cat. Mama. She's going to lay right there. Yep. Yeah, just she don't give a fuck. Best part of the podcast right there. <laughs> and she's down. <laughs> mama cupcakes. She's strutting her stuff. When you're purring. Do you, mama. So he's like, ladies, get him free. Guys. Got to, it's two drink minimum. Two drink minimum. It's fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. But when you think about it, they're like, we're gonna give what you a kind free of limo. Drink? Shh, we're gonna give you a free limo ride to this after party at the strip club. I want to know what a fifty dollar drink is. I don't know, but Miller Lite. We're getting a free limo <laughs> ride to an after party at a strip club. Fucking count me in. I will pay the hundred dollars for you. We're going. I was all in at like twelve, one, two. It's like damn near four in the fucking morning. Great you want time a for an after party. Limo ride to the strip yes, club. I do. Well, then. Who doesn't love the strip club more than me? And I was even like, uh, not tonight, boss. I feel like I love the strip club more it's than you. It's fucking late. <laughs> well, so then, you know, our friend loses her phone, realizes she lost her phone. So we no. go off looking for it. And we come out. I cannot believe you found that phone. The gentleman's. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, that was awesome. So I'm tracking it because I have her location. And I was like, I see it. It's moving. I'm calling it, calling it. Finally, somebody answers. It's a dude. And I was like, hey, it's my friend's phone. Where are you? And he tells me he's a security guard at the casino. Leads me to where he is, which very stupidly I <laughs> followed his instructions. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it's over here. Yes, I'm a security guard. <laughs> My shirt sign says the, security. There's a sign on the door that says Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah, and it was real. It was oh, real. Yeah. He really was a security guard. Whatever. We found our phone. We got it. We come back out. This delicious smelling man is gone. And we're like, what the fuck? We're, like, we're supposed to go to the strip club. And Jeff's like, oh, we left. I'll go to find out the next morning. Jeff, he didn't just leave. Jeff sent his ass away. I said away with you. You smell Ru too good. Now, Ruined our now let's let's remember, plans. folks. I would this love is, this. Is just day two. <laughs> I'm all about the strip club. Don't get me wrong. 
I live there. I work there. I enjoyed it. There comes a time where it's, you know, it's too late. The, it was not can, too late. It's done. It's done. It's Kayla. Vegas. There's Here nothing it going on there that anyone wants to see. If somebody here back home said, hey, there's an after party at the strip club and it's 4 a.m. Not here. I'd, I'd look at them and I'd be like, fuck <laughs> off. I ain't going. <laughs> I ain't even, I don't even want to take a limo to the strip club at midnight here. But there, I'm like, it's Vegas. This could be great. Could be an adventure. Right. Well, Jeff ruined it. Maybe I ruined that for you. While you all that's happening, it. I am um, having a minor, minor panic attack at the hotel going, motherfucker, you're going to die in Vegas before you get to do the one thing you want to do, which is go to the punk rock museum. I'm in my room getting ready to start writing the fucking... Don't die till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready to start writing tomorrow. the, hey, if you guys find me dead, I'm oh sorry. My God. I was that close to writing that. That's which how I feel freaked like out awesome. I was. I feel like it's awesome because we had a key to your yeah. hotel room. <laughs> Never checked. Because you were good. Yeah. I was, you said you were good when I'm, you left yeah. Walgreens. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would have checked on my friends. Good? I would have checked on my friends, but I'm just saying. So anyway. <laughs> Go pat God on the butt. Damn and it. Fucking... I wake up the next morning, take a shower, get my day going. I did not I did not contact these guys like I think I sent a text, hey, you up? And Jeff was just like, ugh. Because <laughs> he was the only one that was awake. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, I no. said, yes, we're awake. And then you tried to FaceTime me. I woke yeah. their asses up that day. Because we slept. We went to, no, we were up until 4.30. And then I was up by like 9. Yes, I was up before that. Sean texted me and said, oh, then you went back are you to up? Sleep. I said, yes. Yeah, and then he tried to FaceTime me, and I didn't answer because mm-hmm. I said nobody else is up. That's so what, I didn't want to yeah. be a dick. Yeah, FaceTiming. Well, yeah, everybody while was while everyone else was trying to sleep. Yeah, hundred percent. Which I understood that. So I have a friend. Shout out to Bob. Shout out to Rev Deville, who live who lives in Vegas on the. Uh, who lives in Vegas on in the winters now. Trying to do his freelance thing. That's so awesome. Go to Orange Box Studios on uh, Instagram and give him a follow. Bob comes and picks me up because he knows I want to go to the Punk Rock Museum. And he wants to go again. So our other buddy is on the phone with him when he picks me up. Senior Mantis. Mikey was on the phone and tells us to go to this Good Pie, which is a pizza spot that the guy who trained Professor Pizza Owns. Yeah. It's called Good Pie? It's called Good Pie. It's right next to the Velveteen Rabbit, which next Ooh. time next time we go, we got to go to that bar. That sounds I'm like just a name saying. Is that a strip club? No, it's a bar. That sucks. <laughs> okay, so strip club comes into part of the story. So go get our pizza. Eat the pizza. Delicious. Go to the Punk Rock Museum. That's all I wanted to do. Punk Rock Museum is right next door to Little Darling Strip Club. They went to the strip club. You didn't even did not, tell us. We, did not go to the strip club because there's a story when Jerry. you when you park. They have a sign that says, "Little darlings hates us. Don't park in their lot." <laughs> Which is so dumb when you think about it, because they have shows there all the time, and they're always packed. Wouldn't you want people to that have had go a couple the of cocktails? Trickle into the strip Trickle club. Trickle into yeah. the strip club. It's a perfect setup. In all honesty, if I'm Little Darlings. They should be working together. If I'm Little yes. Darlings, I'm giving them all a stack of fucking door passes and get them motherfuckers in the building. Yeah. Right, free drinks for $50 each. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> those aren't free. For ladies. Oh, yeah. No, oh. those are free. Yeah. So God, I'm not going to really go in I really wish de- I would have got a... I want to know what a fifty dollar drink tastes. I, like. Well, you ruined it. I fucked up. So, you ruined it. I go to the punk rock museum. It was exactly what I hoped for and more. It was my Graceland. It was my bucket list <laughs> item. I got it off there. I will go back every year because there's so much shit that I missed. Like they have a room where there's a bunch of instruments that you can play. Not really a fucking musician anymore, <laughs> but they have like. One of Tim Armstrong from Rancid's guitars in there. They have 
one of Fletcher's guitars in there from uh, Pennywise and shit like that. But they have Wesley Willis's keyboard. You can play those guitars? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, That's you can awesome. plug in and play them. That's dope. So they have Wesley, and Wesley Willis is a Chicago legend. He was a like a homeless guy that had a keyboard and would just make these songs that everybody has heard that one of his songs at one point in their life because they're so stupid and so funny <laughs> because it's just the stock song coming off of the keyboard. So whatever is programmed in there that every keyboard has, and he just starts, the one song is uh, Suck a Caribou's Ass. All and, right. And then he just starts going, you know, suck a honey badger's dick, suck a caribou's ass. And then he just starts singing it. Suck a caribou's ass. But at the end. <laughs> it at, sounds wonderful. At the end of every song, he says, rock over London, rock on Chicago. And then he will put a product ad at the end. <laughs> so it's like rock over London, rock over Chicago, Pepsi, choice of a new generation. <laughs> <laughs> But they have his keyboard there, which I wish I would have seen because that's the one of the things I missed. But they have a tattoo shop in there. They have a really cool bar. What was one of the things you didn't like expect to see, and you were like, "That's fucking cool." Uh the artwork, like, like band um, artwork. No, like band, like musicians' paintings yeah. and stuff for sale. There's a painting in there. There's a picture of it on my Instagram. It's so like the lead singer of this band painted this and it's yes, for sale? Yes. That's fucking cool. And the picture is of Fat Mike, who was the lead singer of No Effects and uh, one, the main pr- proprietor of Punk Rock Museum. It's from his ex when she tried to commit suicide in the bathtub and he saved her life. She painted it and in the painting, like on the bathtub that she painted, like explained the whole situation. It is one of the most powerful pieces of art I've ever seen in my life. Like I was tearing up reading this thing. No shit. It's amazing. And then they have, you know, you get married there. So they have like a little chapel, but also at the chapel, they have a, uh, oh yeah, but they have a, in memorandum going and it's always like these, you know, personal pictures of the guys that are passed away and stuff like that. It's the places of for a museum. It is perfect. Yeah. They have like outfits from the Aquabats. Like you could touch them. Like some 41, like their shit from the VMAs is in there. Damn. Nirvana's uh, one of the Grammys from the acoustic albums in there. And it's like, yeah, it's, the unplugged, you're saying? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's an amazing spot. And the people are fucking awesome. So the drinks. I had a, <laughs> I had a fat mic, which was, a double shot of Tito's with green tea, liquid death, and a shot of Jameson. Ugh. But then there's one, the F- Fletcher's drink, Fletcher from Pennywise. It's a rum and Coke and a can of Pringles. So they dump the Pringles out of the can, make the drink in the Pringles that's can. That's fucking awesome. So you get the Pringles and then you eat the chips. They just oh, like, give, like give you a I basket of chips. So there was a mini a, or a fucking no full, full can of All that right. is fucking I like that. awesome. So I got myself a coffee mug because you can walk around with the mug with a drink in it. Yeah. Bought one for our friend because she wanted to go, but I wasn't waking anybody else up. I was on my own mission that day. Get back up, meet up with these guys at the container. Well, because you were well, dealing with the fucking strip club connoisseur. You went to bed early. Yes. You ruined our night. We didn't even get to go. <laughs> So we all link back up and head over to Area 15. Oh, my God. Oh. We're not going to talk about the meltdown that happened at Area 15. Uh, nope, we're not. But mushrooms were taken. Feelings were felt. And, uh, and the tree in the middle, that bar, was awesome. Oh, my God. And it was breathing. And <laughs> It was. No, I took video of it. And, like, you just watch it. Just it's so crazy. So Area 15 has... The Meow Wolf Omega Mart in it, and a bunch of other cool, like visual, fucking. It is visually stimulating. Yeah, it's like if we go every corner you go to. If and when we go back to Vegas, I want to go back there. Mm-hmm. But I want. I want to go early and like spend the day. Yes, because yes. I, I feel like there's so much to see. That not the. Brain. I feel like when we got there it was a good time. It was pretty dead. Yeah. And then we kind of started to explore. And yeah. then it started and then it got filling later, up. And it filled the fuck up. Yeah. 
then there's a lot of little kids there and it kind of was starting to yeah, it was and then a I felt bad time. for being on mushrooms. Yeah, because <laughs> kids are running around. And I was yeah. like, oh it no! Was, it, it got to the point where it was time to go. But the one room that I liked the most that I wish I told Jeff, I wish we would got video of, because Jeff and I were standing next to each other with these glasses on, and all the room was was just LED lights that were set to music. Oh my god, that but, was pillars and mirrors. Yeah, and Jeff and I are standing next to each other, and the lights would go out. And come back on, so you'd see your reflection. Then the bass would hit, and all the fucking lights would start going. Yeah, it was and all just, over the place. It was crazy. It felt like you were traveling through, like hyperspace almost. Yes, like you were going plaid. Yes. <laughs> I feel but like I took a video while we were in there. We did. I got there's. I got one where I put the glasses over the lens, so then it did was, it turn out? Yeah. Yeah. But I really wish we would have got the video because it would have been a cool video for, for us to put on, like. For an opening for the show, Jeff and I were just standing next to each other, kind of st- and just staring at the mirror. And the lights would shut off. Then they come back on. You'd see yourself, and then blah, and then the lights just would shoot in the fucking lights in space. And it, it was, was well, it was crazy because when we walked in there, I was like, I was amazed by what was happening. I thought it was just one hallway. Well, I yeah. thought it was going to be like a weird ass maze, like that we had to go through. And then it was a huge. And it was just it was room. just a room with lights and mirrors. I wow. did like the second thing. We went to the, uh, I don't know, it was like a journey through different yeah. stages. Oh, yeah. It had the, yeah. that was pretty. That was awesome. And they were, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. That was I the, know, but I wanted the to sound touch and mirrors. And it was. Uh, it was, that was, that was neat. That was pretty neat. That was really cool. And then we went into the Omega That Mark. whole place was fucking awesome. Yeah, I wish, I really wanted to go more in depth in that place for sure. I wish we could have got to the other places too. The Imaginarium was closed. Yes. And for like if we event. do go back, I I want to go back there, but I want to spend like, we like go early. Like when it yeah. opens, go. Get it all, get yes. as much in Experience as you can. Experience every fucking thing. Cause yes. I feel like the other cool thing, like inside was amazing. But then the bar. Outside, yes, that yes. was that like floating UFO, yeah. whatever the fuck it is. It, it looked like a it UFO like a slash hot air, hot air balloon. balloon slash. That was the coolest shit ever, and like I it. hate heights. So it's a bar, <laughs> but they don't serve drinks. So you have to get a drink get a first, drink. and then you get on this bar, and it's basically a ride. You have to strap in, but only by a single seatbelt. Yeah, which and is then crazy. It takes you up well, like, you're, you're, how, how, fifty feet. Yeah. Oh, what? Higher There's than no that? way that was only fifty fucking feet. That was only—it's only like three stories. No, it's taller than that. There's no way that was only fifty feet. I don't know. And I say that because I showed up sober, like, and I watched them put the first. I mean, there's a way to find like, out. Yeah, we could Google. There's it. always a Google. We can always Google it. I'm but, googling right now. All right, but you Google it. That was the only Elvis we saw. That was Elvis impersonator. That was, was and I was kind of disappointed. The fucking space bar but he looked us. at me like I was crazy when I thought he was an Elvis impersonator. It's like he just had the fucking haircut. I think he was just there to party. Okay. Side note, I forgot to. T- anyway, real quick Got on it. the space ride, yeah. we go all the way up to the top. We start circling, and instantly, my friend goes, "How long are we up here? How long do we have to be up here for?" And she goes, as long as you want. And he goes, how about now? <laughs> and then we went back down. It was very uncomfortable. It's 130 feet. Oh, right? shit. So, yeah, that's way up there. God yeah. damn. Yeah, because I I hate, hate heights. But, like, shit like that. So, yeah, that, you go like, to the bar. You order a drink. You go up. You shoot the, the shit. the ticket. And it's a circle bar. Take a bunch up, of pictures. Uh, apparently 130 feet and spins around. Yeah, in it was definitely and you way get to higher see, than 50 uh, feet. You get to see the the strip. All of Vegas, yeah. which is pretty cool. It was awesome. I skipped that because I have a thing where if my feet hang, I can't be on the ride. It's all, like even when I was a little kid, I couldn't do it. Listen, I as I asked Jeff, I like I hate heights, hate them, hate them. But yeah, shit but like you, that, like I just I'm like yes, I want to do it. We need to do it. So we always talk about how we like people watching. I saw a phenomenal people watching event when we were leaving the Jabberwocky show when there was this brass band on the corner and this dude was hammered just dancing. <gasps> dad. The dads in this the yes. the mom and the kids stay take start walking and he's still back there dancing and they come around the corner and turn back and look at him and the just disgust and disappointment in their face. I was like, yes. 
They hate their dad so much awesome. right now. It was just awesome because like watching him, I'm like, yes, like this dude's like, having so much he fun. He was enjoying He's his living life. his best life. And the family's like, fuck this guy. <laughs> Let's get the but, fuck out of here. And then mean, across the street, it's just... Well, but who knows? Like, who knows life. how he was acting well, he, all I day, saw, what they were doing? I don't know. I saw them earlier in the day, and he was tuned up <laughs> when, the, when when the lights were out, and the family was already looking like, fuck this guy. Yeah. So, yeah. Dad's having a good time. The know. people watching was phenomenal. All right, so we get to, after all of that. What did we do? We, we went, went back to Fremont. We always ended up at Fremont. What night is this? The I'm so confused. Third second, night. That's a second night. Second night. The Jabberwockies night was the second no, night. No, second the, night we went to Jabberwockies. Third, third night day we was, were there was, was Area 15. Yep. Yeah. We were supposed to go back to the strip, didn't go back yes. to the strip, ended up back at Fremont. Yes. that's We were supposed yes. to go to the ice bar. The, was that? Well, yes, we were supposed to go to the ice bar. Ice bar. And after Area 15, it was just. Well, it was late. I got to go back. Not God. It was it was late, not like late late. No, but, but it was it was, like it was, we it was over trip. over stimulation. Yes, yeah. It was a hundred percent over stimulation. Yeah. Oh, watch out! Shake them tits. But now I'm confused because I don't remember what we did when we went back um, to Fremont. Hang on. So we got there Sunday night. That was the. What did we do? We watched. That was the pizza. That oh okay. Yeah, so Sunday was night was pizza getting... night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night was what did we do at Fremont? Tuesday night was strip club night. Mm-hmm. No, Monday night. Where'd my Tuesday night? No, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is yeah. we went to Area 15 mm-hmm. and then went back to Fremont. That was the night. Yeah. Because we left Wednesday. I yeah. feel like we can't go any further with this until he comes well, back. Well, in Yeah, because I again was like, I'm done, overstimulated, time to go back. I couldn't drink anymore. I couldn't. I just. Yeah. I needed to eat, and I ended up having a beef jerky and a Snickers bar because I didn't want to go get food. Because my fucking legs, my lower half from oh. all that walking in those shitty shoes, I was done. Well, see, what's crazy is I feel like because of work, like the walking, I was okay. Like when I woke up in the morning because it was so much more walking than yeah. I was used to, I felt it. But at the time, like I was okay. But yeah, that was yeah that night was so much walking. Well, so like okay, so we get done at Area Fifteen, we go back, we went back down to Fremont. You really didn't come to Fremont with us. I did not. I uh, I did. I couldn't function anymore. So by the time I was burnt, I was over people. I was over everything. Yeah. Well, I have a picture on my phone because I was sending it to the group because you know half of us were there and half yeah. of us. We're at a different location. That was the Fremont. wildest thing is we went in and six of us, six to eight of us kind of stayed together. But everybody else that was gone. Yeah. Casino bound just. But then you'd find each other at the end of yeah, the night. Yeah, you'd always. And boy, man, some people were taking it on the shins that whole weekend. I've, yeah. There was some drunk Wisconsin folk there. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Phenomenal. <laughs> I can't with you. This guy. So So third night after Area 15, we get back. Sean does not join us on Fremont. I do not. I'm over people. I'm over but everything. The rest of us go to Fremont. Uh we go all the way to the end for the band. End up meeting up with the rest of the group. We um are having a great time, actually. I feel like it was we were like everybody was in a good mood. Everything was good. And then this weird couple, pretty sure the woman was a prostitute. I don't know. Do you, boo? But they came up with that German shepherd. Mm. And right. its ears were like bad. Like you could just tell it was not okay to be there. It was scared, upset. I don't know, whatever. It was there. And everybody around, like there was a lady standing up behind us. I remember she had that short blonde hair. And she's just mean mugging the shit out of these people. <sighs> And so her and I are talking because I was like, these fucking people, like this goddamn dog. Like, I was so mad. I was like, it shouldn't be here. So they're being assholes to the dog. I don't know, some weird shit. This other dude walks up. Apparently, it's a thruple. It's not just a couple. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know. And then the dog ends up biting somebody in the dick. Well, she took the dog for a walk, so it bit someone. 
because it didn't want to be there. And you could tell that from the moment they fucking brought it. And people see a dog and they're drunk and they're like, hey, I'm going to pet this dog. And it bit someone. And yeah. then it bit someone else. And then finally, the third time it bit someone. And this guy's like walking towards us and he has his like hand down the front of his fucking pants. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is he like, is this a hobo like jerking yeah. off or something? <laughs> so then he ends up walking back to where the dog owners are and he pulls his fucking hand out and his hand is covered in fucking blood. Because the dog bit him in the dick. Mm. Missed that. I should have just, <laughs> we should have just left right there. Well, so at this point, I'm crying because I've watched this fucking poor dog, the, you know, for this duration of time, get like pushed around. They were just being assholes to it from the moment they fucking came. Yeah. And you could tell it was uncomfortable. Yeah, the dog shouldn't have been there. So I'm like. Didn't want to be there. So I'm like upset and I'm crying because I was like, and so I said to everybody, I was like, if this was a fucking kid, somebody would have called the fucking cops by now. Like, this isn't Okay. Whatever. And I wasn't the only person that felt like this. Like, there were multiple people, mostly women, that were <laughs> reacting the same way. No. I know. Weird, right? Um, and then... This is fucking depressing! It, I know. Yeah. I can get it real depressing. You yeah, ready? it's getting worse. It's going to get it's worse. It's going to get worse. So, like I said, I said to everybody, if this is a fucking kid, somebody would call the cops by now. And not, to the kid. And not, not here we go. Ten minutes later, which it is damn near one o'clock in the morning at this point. Yeah. There is this group of people that don't even look like they belong together with a bl- little blonde hair, blue eyed girl. Five year old. Just hanging out. Now, this poor little thing, like I said, they didn't even look like they belonged together. And she's with them, whatever. Mom and sinks kick in for all the moms around us. Mm-hmm. We Pack were not. Mentality. Yeah, we were not. Every the, mom. Every mom. Like it wasn't just. Not just in our group. It was every mom. Something was off about these people. Yeah. And like uh, normally, if if there's a child in the group, like. Yeah. Somebody's tending First to of them. All, I don't get fucked up when my daughter's around. Like if I have to, if my daughter were yeah. out doing things, like yeah, you don't. We're take not it, getting yeah. drunk tonight. Yeah. But yeah, some even to me, I'm not I'm a father. Yeah, but I'm not. But he's like super. It. Well, he's like super chill though all the time. He's like, oh, you're making I'm a super deal chill. out of it. However, there's a group of people, and this kid is just sitting in the street, and no one is paying attention to cute, it in the group. It was thing. like the kid was just dropped there. It was wild. Yeah. Long so story, anyway, long story long short. Long story short, I don't want to make it too depressing too long. Uh, go to find out not a single person that she was with was her guardian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wild to me. That's Cops got involved. It was a whole thing. It yes, just, we were up till not a good thing. three in the morning dealing with police and uh, trying to figure out who's, uh, who's whose baby, this baby was. it was. Yeah. Because it wasn't their baby. Speaking of babies. Yeah. I'll deal with mine first. Uh, babies. Oh, the baby. Uh, so... <laughs> That ends their day, basically, after that. Great success. Went back and got your pizza and went back to the ho- the old hotel. That was it. That's how we ended the... And then the next day we went and uh, went and got a sandwich that Kayla wanted. The Bobby from Capriati's, which was in the courthouse. Which that was... was weird. So we're looking for, we walk to this restaurant and we think it's a restaurant and it's literally in a courthouse. We have to go inside and go through a metal detector and to get to this restaurant. Mind you, I am now walking into a federal building with a weed pen in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So put all my shit on the thing and I just go, sorry, boys. They let me in, went and got my sandwich. It was good. It was a good sandwich. It was a good sandwich. <laughs> like I think it was. Was a, it a metal detector sandwich? It wasn't worth going through all that to get the Bobby. Did you get the Bobby? I got the Bobby. It was good. What do you think? It was good. I, I mean, want to tell the people what the Bobby is. It is uh, Thanksgiving on a. It's turkey, cranberry sauce, stuffing, and mayonnaise on a white roll, white oh. sub. It was good. 
It was, I mean, I understand why it was voted what it was, but it wasn't like knock my socks off, greatest thing I've ever eaten. Yeah. It was weird because, so we got there at the perfect time because I feel like court was letting out. <laughs> and it was yeah. a bunch of suits, a whole bunch, bunch of lawyers, lawyers and uh, plaintiffs and defendants in there just and our one eating buddy, subs together. Our one buddy was not having a good time with life at that point. The hangover was real for him. The monarchs weren't helping. Uh, nothing was helping. Nothing was helping. He just wanted a nap. So we're walking back from Capriati's, and I'm like, I'm going to go make sure all my shit's... I'm just going to go back to the hotel room. Well, no, we already checked out before Capriati's. So I'm like, I'm just going to go back to the casino. I don't need to go walk the strip again because I'm going to start drinking again. And I was all right with that, not drinking <laughs> at that point. Yeah, but... So you guys went and did your... Uh, Pick up the souvenirs for the kids. Uh-huh. When it got done, we got it back on the plane and sent our happy asses back to 28 degree Wisconsin. Oh, it was awful. Here we are. Back for you. <laughs> uh, what was your review of the Bobby? Oh, well, I don't know that I can even give a fair review of the Bobby. Was it worth going through a metal detector? Okay, <laughs> no, that was an awesome experience, okay? So, I've yes. never been to a restaurant so, where yes. I had to go through a metal detector to get in there. Um, I don't <laughs> feel like my review is fair because I was struggling so hard like I said, when it, we were leaving. It was a good sandwich, but the world's best sandwich? Nah. I think had I not been struggling that day, that and I think if I would have gotten it warm... It probably would have yeah. been. But I think I'm people no. just get excited for Thanksgiving. Uh, no, this sandwich, I really do honestly right. believe that it would have been phenomenal if I would have gotten it warm and had I not been struggling. But I didn't feel good before we went to Vegas. And then I just drank all the yeah. entire time. So I yeah. didn't know that I didn't feel good. And then I feel like it hit me Wednesday. Yeah, on the plane, it was time to go. Once Wednesday hit, it was like, yeah, okay, let's get to the yeah. airport. I wanted to yeah. go to the airport at noon. Well, like half of the group, I know. I know. <laughs> I've so been half... there before, and I was there for a week. Yeah, no, thank and you. It was Mm-mm. three days is the perfect amount. Too long. Yeah, the amount of time that we went was good. And this I think... might have been too long. No, I think I'd be good going back if I'm in good health when I go. Like also a little bit more of a game plan went. too. Like. Jot, we've been there now. We let's jot down the places we want to go. And we're I don't know. I had, I had Fremont a game Street plan. for me is a one day event. Yeah, I thought that was my shit until it wasn't. Because <laughs> you're a very loving and trusting person, and I love that about you. But you don't understand the underbelly of life and people. I know. Jeff's like, you just got to tell them how you doing. Rooks. Keep them moving. I don't want to do that. Listen, I. Like, I you're like, it. my purse is zipped. Like, okay, he's going to snatch it off your shoulder and run through that fucking alley. But how is he going to... I mean, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Me. We can argue about it. That's fine. But, we like, so the argue. one so the one homeless guy goes walking by. He's got We're not going to argue. Flashy... I just understand that I know, but life like, is not sunshine. But, I, which I understand. I look at it that way, it's way but I understand it's, it's not. It's way different. But I feel there. like he took it so seriously, and, like, you weren't even... By me. You could have been by me, and then maybe we wouldn't have to worry. But then through the night, I had explained to you, this is called Sin City for a reason. These well, are degenerates. But I said, if I don't talk to strays, I'd never find out about the guy with the flashy hat. He walked by, and I was like, I like your hat. And he goes, thank you. I got it from that stand over there. And I was like, okay, good to know. The guy was clearly homeless. But he had a dope hat. But he had a dope hat. It was so cool. And so then he proceeds. Silver lining, kids. He proceeds to show me his YouTube channel because he's got one. And he is going to get his pilot's what license. What is it? Can we give him a shout out? Oh, shit. I don't even remember. Shout out to though. guy with the good hat from Fremont uh, Street and your with pilot the, license YouTube. Guy with the flashy hat. He had sequences all over it. And he's getting his pilot's license. When he breaks out. He's going to give us a ride. We're I'm just saying, so like, that's a cool story, right? It was harmless. How about old boy that we thought was wearing a skirt, but turns out it was a hoodie oh, around sweater. it? A okay. sweater, Not a hoodie. A sweater. <laughs> what Not about a sweater. the guy What about the guy that Nick lended his lighter to? Do you remember that guy? That homeless guy? Yes, and he had 
huge balls. Oh my God! So <laughs> you weren't there for that, <laughs> were you? No, man. I missed out on all the homeless stuff. Oh my God! So he comes up wanting a lighter, and so of course Nick's like, "Yeah, I'll give you a lighter, whatever." He lets him light it, and this guy had a white sheet. He was holding on to it like this, and those were apparently his pants. So yeah. he goes, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was in his other hand, <laughs> but apparently it was, I don't know. So he goes to light the cigarette and he drops his pan- his sheet. His dress. AKA his pants. And there is his balls in his penis. <laughs> and I, I stopped and I started dying laughing. And then I got serious because I was like, Something's medically wrong with this man. Like, he needs to be seen. Or he's gifted. Or, no, his uh, ba- no, that's not gifted. Your balls naturally are not this big. That is not okay. That's not natural. You need to be seen. Something is wrong. Maybe he's been saving up his seed his oh, whole life. Oh, God, I yeah. don't know. But that's what <laughs> I was like, oh. I don't know. I feel like bums come daily. Probably. <laughs> what you think? Probably. That sounds like a fucking <laughs> documentary that no one wants to see. <laughs> Bums come daily. Oh, man. Flight back was good. Yeah. No, well, maybe for some people. I mean, we had a couple in front of us that wouldn't shut the fuck up. Were they even a couple? Oh, they were in business. I don't even think they were a couple. They, used to they were in other. business, and it was very important business. Oh, shit. I needed an exit row on the way Basically, at one point, they were talking about their dog. They would not shut the fuck up. And you know, I was struggling so hard. I looked at Jeff, and I said, I swear to God, if they don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to strangle them. <sighs> I obviously did not. So there was them, and then there was the lady. They were verbally Oh, the lady sitting other. next to me? Yes, I so I hit Pilates lady in I the hit, chair. The UFC yes. sweater. Yes, I hit my dear friend behind me. I was like, "Hey, oh, look at this lady up here. She's got her feet up." On what the was fucking... she on? Well, and then she'd just stand she was there, stretching the whole time. Well, and then she'd get up and she'd stretch, and then stare, and at then people. she'd stare at you, like she just would stare, like blank stare, at like people. she wanted to maybe murder you. I don't know, but it was very not well, comfortable. Well, so I was watching a movie. On my phone. I downloaded two movies for the flight back. I read... What'd you watch? I watched The Beekeeper and The the Goods. Because I I always watch The Goods on a flight for some reason. It's kind of like, I don't know, superstition or whatnot. See what this is. So I'm watching The Beekeeper, and I feel someone like... Staring at you? Like, And it's her, so I just went and turned on the closed captioning for a minute. And she saw me do that, and she's like, you know, looked away. So She was weird. So went back to watching my movie, and I turned at the one. At one point, I turn, and her head is on the back lumbar support of the chair, and her feet are damn yeah. near touching the overhead bin. I don't know how. I'm, and I'm, I saw her feet while she was sitting, and I was like, "Well, I'm I feel not like even it's physically no, capable. it is. It's possible. Like as a female, that is possible to do, but you don't do that on an airplane. And There's somebody in front of her." Yeah. You were sticking your feet right above their head. Do you know them, ma'am? No, she didn't. Yeah, it was it was, was a wild strange. flight back. Thank God the lights were off most of the flight back. She was very strange. Watched my two movies, enjoyed my bottle of water and whatever snack they gave us. Ooh, that that uh, brownie brittle was pretty good. Or, I didn't have that. I didn't have that either. It was crunchy, chocolatey. I said no thank you on the <laughs> way back. I didn't have that. On the way there, I had pretzels and we whatever had else. The pretzels and the graham crackers. On the way back, I just wanted everybody to fuck off, leave me alone, let me sleep. All right, with, I, with All that, right. that was our uh, Vegas trip. Oh, so boy. We're, we're gonna... sorry. I hope uh, hope you're fulfilled. Well, we, we're, we're almost there. <laughs> we're not we got to answer some questions real quick. We're going to ask the internet. Ask the, or answer the internet. Shout out to Barstool Sports and answer the internet. I bought it. You're not a sponsor, but you put out good shit. So shout out. Go ahead, Kayla. Start us off. I get to go first? You were laughing way too hard at these before the show. So. All right. Would you rather have to jerk off your flaccid fingers to get them hard so they could work? <laughs> or... Have your dick be a finger that you could maneuver and flick stuff with. Finger dick. <laughs> what? 
Would I'm you... not jerking off my fingers every time we need to finger grab dick. a beer. Yeah, finger dick. Or you have your dick be a finger that you could maneuver and flick stuff with. Finger dick. Yeah, finger dick. I'm flicking. <laughs> I'm flicking quarters across yeah. the bar. Yeah. Uh, I read that and I was about. fucking dying. Because you don't have a penis, so you I'm find tell you it right hilarious. Now. I find it hilarious just thinking about somebody having to fucking jerk off their fingers to make them Every work. time I need to grab something, <laughs> I have to jerk my fingers off first. <laughs> That's <laughs> horrible life. Yeah. Think about it. You got a finger dick. You can sit there and put your fucking <laughs> phone down and just text with your cock. Right. That's hilarious. Either way, that'd be hilarious. It's because I'm. It's because I don't have a dick. Yeah. I find yeah, so it that you think funny. it's just all sunshine and rainbows over here, nope. or chafing? Oh fuck you and your chafing! <laughs> <laughs> Shout not, out Gold Bond. We're Help not Jeff even gonna out. get into that. Yeah, that's Help a Jeff. lot of walking. Also, Jeff's attire the whole time made him look like a Cuban coke dealer. <laughs> he was the coke dealer. Yeah. Not being the coke dealer. All right, Jeff, you wanna go? What you got? Yeah, I got two. Let me see. What do we got here? Would you rather be the most attractive person in the world, but blind? The best singer in the world, but deaf? Or the best chef in the world, but no sense of taste? I like we've done this one. Say I think I again. said blind. I need you to repeat it, please. Would you rather be... <laughs> Best singer blind attractive or attractive but blind. blind singer deaf chef no, no taste. taste chef no taste I do not think I could survive not being able to hear or see I don't know, being a sexy ass blind man sounds cool to me I know I don't I honest to God the thought of not being able to hear or see like it freaks me out I don't yeah. know that I could do it taste I could I feel like I'd be disappointed taste or hear I whatever. I feel like I'd be disappointed. Yeah, I couldn't taste eyes. anything, but I need music, so yeah, yeah that I, would... I can't. I can't lose my hearing. I'd like to put out some great food, but for I'd people. rather lose my hearing than my sight. Yeah, you know, and and yeah, you know what? Taste. Taste can go. I'll, I'll go with taste. Right, later. like taste would be my first option because you're still making people happy. Right, you, like you, I don't you, give a you, shit. I mean, like... you don't get to you don't get to taste the fruits of your labor or whatever, but ooh. <laughs> but but you're still you're still doing your service to humanity. Just being a hot blind guy that's just <laughs> depressing. You don't even just, know you're yeah, hot. Yeah. Or and being able to be the best singer and not hear what you're singing makes you're no probably sense. not even hot. People are just telling you yeah. you're hot. <laughs> you're blind. You'd never know. <laughs> I, I, right? Like I don't know. It's I'd like rather being just deaf, not taste. Like, yeah, you're a great singer. Okay. Would you fuck a porn star? If afterwards he or she had to hold a press conference on your performance, yes, because I don't care. I got the job done. I'm out. I don't know that I want to fuck porn star. Your favorite celebrity. I no, I, I don't have one. Your your one hall pass. I don't have one. Believe it or not, this is always a weird conversation. Kill. How do you not have I only have a favorite number. I'm upset that you don't have a hall pass. Is that weird? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? Why are you upset about it? I feel like you should have like a top five. At least a, t- a top why? one. Top one? At least one person. Johnny Craig? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Johnny Craig. No, I love... Okay, I love Johnny Craig's voice. Is he too gummy for you? I don't think Johnny Craig's bad looking at all. Or is it the drug use? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't Who's know. Who's your I just, one? It's just I don't have one. We're gonna have that to bothers have, me. She's gonna have to think. Why about does it. that bother you? She's got. You her, should have one because she's got why? her one. She does. She she's just got won't her say one. it out loud. Yeah. It's no. Just why sitting, do I have to? Her have one is one. sitting next to her. It's not a the, hall pass. The one dick for the I'm rest. Not a hall pass. <laughs> yeah, she gets his That's... Seal Team Six dick forever. Yeah. Just in and out. Uh, quiet, quiet quick. swift <laughs> sometimes you don't even feel it seal team <laughs> dick that would be my <laughs> porno okay so no I don't want to fuck a porn star but I also However, whatever like if I did fuck a porn star and they had to give a review on my performance a press conference yeah I, whatever I don't give a fuck yeah why not cause then you're gonna be like 
Do I get to do but the tell follow me, up? But I was going to say, but tell me if you were going to fuck a porn star, you probably put on your top notch performance. You would try. Right. You put the A game out there. You do your you do your special tricks. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Why not? You do your 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 magic moves. Do you think you it sucks to be a porn star because they think that that's what you're getting? Like if I were Ooh. let's say a porn star I met at the bar and we were going to have sex, like wouldn't she do you think? I think there's a lot of regret. I just don't think Like that's what if if I knew she was a porn star and I met her at a bar mentally, I'm like Porn star. Porn star. That's what I'm getting. My dick's not going to do just this thing justice. Oh. <laughs> the microphone just got soft. I don't know. I feel like coming from a porn star's perspective, then, like, I just feel like you're getting fucked all the time. What? Well, that's their job. Make love. If they're getting fucked all the time, like. If they're making love At daily? some point, it's like everything else, right? You do it so often. Yeah. You don't enjoy it anymore. Yeah. Eventually, you're just not going to. Right. Eventually, you're just not going to enjoy it. Like, if I was a porn star and I had to fuck all day long and then come home, I ain't fucking when I come home. I did it all day long. I'm not doing it when I come home. Every guy used to talk about how they would. Yeah, no, I ain't fucking when I come home. Oh, she's a masseuse. And I'm like, you think she fucking spent all day rubbing back? She's going to come <laughs> yeah. home and rub your back? No. Right, no. That's like, the last thing she so wants that's to do. So like, that's what I think Like as a porn star. And I, I would love to sit down with one and have them talk to me and see if that's how they feel. But like, I would just think that, like, I, and I understand, like, it's that's their job. But I would think that, like, you do that all day long. So I ain't coming home to fuck. So uh, <laughs> I, I know we're, we're, com- we're, nope. we're, we're getting close to the end here Are of this we? podcast. But I have a, uh, I have a, a little glimpse into the future in my own mind that I'm having, the the true woman's like revolution, like liberation, is gonna come, <laughs> is gonna come falling apart over here <laughs> in the future more than it is now. All these girls that have their OnlyFans and all this shit, and they're all starting to have massive mental problems, realizing, oh the. Entire world has seen me stick something inside me. What? They're, they're all having the. Re- how, how, <laughs> do you spend a lot of time thinking? No, about dude, this? dude, my algorithm. I'm telling you. Oh no. I you see these interviews of these girls that you see and they're just broken. Sean's like, yeah, I'm gonna like it, but no, a couple years, honey. You're not gonna be proud of yourself. No, it's a lot of it's already turning, turning the corner. Cause Which is the right one to push? This is depressing. No. This is fucking yep. depressing. Yep. See, there you go. Yep. That so, is. Caleb, bring it back around with another answer to the internet. Okay. Hot moms. Mary, fuck, kill. Italian food, Mexican food, and Chinese food. <clears throat> which one are you gonna marry? Which one are you gonna fuck? And which one are you gonna kill? I'm killing. Ooh. I'm killing Chinese food. Yeah, and I'm fucking Mexican food and I'm marrying f- Italian. Yeah. I'm so disappointed. And the reason why I'm fucking Chinese or killing Chinese food is because every time you eat Chinese food, 15 minutes later, you want to eat some more food. I, l- I love fried phenomenal. rice. I love Italian food. Very much so. Mm-hmm. So that's not Oh, I'm marrying anymore. it for sure. And Mexican food is awesome. Yes. I love Chinese, but yeah, it's yeah. No. You can never have Taco Bell again if you kill Mexican food. I'm just okay. saying. That's fair. That's but that's not even Mexican food. It's technically so. Mex- I could always it's, have Taco Bell. It's technically. It's not. Yes, it is. It's Mexican American. It's a taco. <laughs> it's not real Mexican food though. But it's a taco. The Mexicans invented tacos. That's fair. Taco, All right, Taco I guess. Taco Bell's dead. <laughs> I would marry Italian, fuck Mexican, and kill Chinese. Oh, See? that, that yeah. depresses me because I love Chinese food. I love too. Chinese food, too. I do, too. See, I love Chinese food, but you know what? I love Japanese food, too, and I can get away with it. Ha-ha! I can get sushi still. Oh, that's <sighs> gross. What's yours? <laughs> Which of these uh, activities take more physical fitness? Golf or porn? Porn. Porn. 
No. Porn. What? Walk 18 holes. I'm not walking anywhere. I got to. You might have to fuck 18 holes. That's a lot of activity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you on a slow day. <laughs> Walk 18 holes. <laughs> you ever banged 18 holes? At once. In one day. I've had some good sessions. Okay. What's more? Fucking 18 <laughs> holes or walking 18 holes? What's going to take fucking more 18, out of you? Fucking 18 holes. Well, I'm losing more fluids with one than the yes, other. <laughs> you're done. I guarantee right now you couldn't even fuck 18 times in a weekend. <laughs> and Jeff only I'm says like, that because he also can't. There's so. no way. <laughs> there's no way. Weekend, you maybe get nine. <laughs> Three times a day. Yeah. One for breakfast, one That's at it. one at oh, noon, and one this at just night. Makes me giggle. That's it. By the end of the weekend, it's just poof, nothing's coming out. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so you tell me. I'm still taking with golf, man. <laughs> no. After all that, we just yeah. discussed. No. Yes. no. No. What about you? Porn. Dude, porn. Not for sure. You got one I'm more not trying to fuck 18 holes. I'd rather. Oh, that, it's not <laughs> fucking. It's shooting a porn scene or golfing. Right. A porn scene can go an hour. And a golf and golfing goes, could go an hour. No, golf goes in minimal three hours. It doesn't specify. Hours. It could be many If golf. golf or the porn scene went the same amount of time, then which one's more then, exhausting? Then it's porn. Yeah. But yeah. that's what but that's what the question was, was it not? No, it's. Golf or porn. How do you know how long the shoot's going for? Depends. How long is an average scene? I'm just taking. I don't average. know. You don't I don't know. I watch long, clips. It, it's been a very. When do you watch clips of porn? All day. You're at work. Kids are at school. What do you how think he's dare doing? You. I'm done here. Shit's be done here. Doing research. <laughs> I'm asking the question the people want to hear, <laughs> and the people want to know. Oh, ask your All last right, question. Let's fire this let's last go. question out. Because it is daylight savings time and it is now 3 o'clock in the morning. It sure shit is. It's 3 a.m.? It's 3.32. If you made it this long, I salute you. Well, they're going to listen to it work on Monday. Oh, so. I know. All right, we just went on vacation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Stopped at a couple uh, bodegas, if you will. What are your top... Three gas station snacks of all time. Ooh. That's a good question. That, this, I like this question. Gas station snacks. So you're going on a road trip, go to a gas station. What are I'm your getting go-tos? Chester's. I'm getting Chester's hot fries. I like hot fries. I love hot Chester's. Hot fries? Chester's. Andy Caps. I just pointed them out to you yesterday at Burkott's. I know, but over like. Uh... You said top three. Chester's hot fries. This is a road trip, so yeah. Yeah. Chester's over hot like fries. spicy. Yeah. Cheetos. I've pointed them out to you. You've seen me eat them. I'll I'll show you next time where okay. I. I know, but over. I know you like hot Cheetos, so I'm just saying over Ooh, hot yeah, Cheetos no, for sure. Yeah, Chester's hot fries. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Um. What else would I get? Ooh, this is hard. I really like, uh, what is it, Snyder's Honey Mustard Pretzels, the little pretzel yeah. bites. Mm, yeah, those are bangers. The Honey Mustard ones. The Honey Mustard oh, ones are really good. The cheddar ones so are good, good, too. I the love honey the Honey Mustard ones. The honey, the honey Mustard and Onion. That's what they are. Yes. So good. Delicious. Um, and one last. Okay, another snack. Yep. I'm gonna Doesn't have say so drinks, with, just snacks. I'm going to have to go with Quick Trips breadsticks. Ooh, They're cheesy the breadsticks. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. That's right. my shit. Hefe, go ahead. Um, ranch corn nuts. <laughs> yep, for so sure. gross. That is for sure Jeff's road trip snacky. So gross. Uh, Skittles, wild berry, wild berry Skittles, mm-hmm. and uh, I guess if I had to pick a third, I mean beef jerky. Beef jerky. I usually beef jerky is gas a good station choice. road trip beef jerky. Uh, mine is. Either a king size almond or a king size regular Snickers bar. 
a bag or stick of teriyaki beef jerky. So good. And wild berry gummy lifesavers. Ooh, those are good too. And if we had to do a drink in there too, it's a bottle of water or an energy drink See, depending like, on what it is. I feel like I have like my snacks and then my candies and then my drinks. Like oh. I know candy is technically a snack, right? Yeah. But like I have like my real my real food snacks. Yeah, that's why I got the jerky. <laughs> I got a little bit of And protein. then my candy yeah, snacks. Bit. You got a got a little bit. Now, drink wise, are you just an energy drink and water or are you so, depending on how long the road depends trip is? Depends on where we're going. Like it's we're driving to the Dells, say. Mm. So that's a good couple hours I know probably my, just one energy drink i probably i usually get a water maybe an energy drink i try not to drink too much on the way up though because yeah. i'm wearing have to stop because i gotta pee yep <laughs> and speaking of that is the best way to end this first episode back on youtube because my guess is we all gotta take a piss all right hope you enjoyed our uh vegas trip as much as we did thanks yep. for uh i need a break someone asked me how was it and I said, physically, I'm fine. Mentally, it uh, mentally I'm it's, fucked up. It stayed with me a little bit. <laughs> it did not stay I in needed Vegas. A yeah, mental yeah. break from Vegas. Yeah, the the traveler's diarrhea yeah. <laughs> came home <laughs> real hard. And with that being said, for Jeff, for Kayla, I am Sean. Thank you again for hanging out with us. We'll see you again next week from uh, our beautiful new studio. Good work, Jeffrey. Thank you. Later. Keep moving out Drink Wisconsin, please.